Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've shared some blooms with you, new blooms with you, and uh, so I thought today I'd share some new blooms. It is um, early August here in Southwest Florida. What's going on with my orchids is I'm getting a lot of uh, new growth. Not that many of them are blooming, but I've got a lot of blooms coming and I've got a lot of growth, seeing a lot of stuff. Uh, and I just wanted to, uh, to give you, share some, some blooms with you because it's been a while since I've done that. Um, so I want to go through some of my uh, new acquisitions, then some, show you some of my older ones and show you some general things that are going on. Uh, while we're looking at, listening and looking at things today, um, guys behind me I think are doing some, some uh, construction in their backyard. So we may hear, we may be hearing some power tools and talking and cursing and whatever else they're going to do. But um, let's focus on, on the orchids for now. Uh, so the first one I want to share with you, I've shared with you um, previously, and this is a relatively new uh, acquisition from uh, Sundance Orchids in Fort Myers. Uh, and this is Hamlin's Magic, and I'm showing it to you again. And this is a, uh, this is a Nidosa hybrid. Um, not a not a plant that I would normally uh, buy. Small flowers, um, star shaped, which is nice. The, what attracted me to this plant, and the reason I'm still showing it to you, is because it's so vigorous and so prolific. So I I think I bought it maybe um, maybe a month ago and it's had a few bloom spikes that have come out on it and this one came out just a short time ago so this thing is still blooming um, it's got some new growth going over the side of the pot i really need to repot this but a really nice vigorous uh, orchid um, i wasn't going to use it in any crosses or initially but i think i'm going to collect some pollen off of these last two crosses and uh, and start using it um you know again i like bigger flowers so i'm going to cross it maybe onto a bigger flower and see what i get out of it okay so again this is uh, bc um, Brassica cattleya uh, hamlin's magic and the cultivar is uh, leilani okay moving on to another um, Sundance orchid purchase that I'm really excited about. Um, I bought this when it was in bud and the flower on this opened um, maybe around three or four days ago and I am just I'm really excited uh, to have this plant in my collection. So this and this was uh, this is labeled as a uh, Cattleya nobilior times a Cattleya eclandii so it's a cross and I got this and I wanted, um, and, and this is called um, Cattleya um, Mangalen, I think. I'll look it up and put it on the. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but this is this is a recently new. This is a newly named Cattleya. It is a, um, it's a species cross, so two different species. So it's a primary hybrid between two different species. Um, and I see this, the, some, there's some pictures of this plant, of this flower that are posted on orchid roots. So I usually do a lot of my research on orchid roots to see what kind of flowers I'm gonna get. Um, and a few of the flowers, and you can see some videos that were released by St Stephen Van Camp and Lewis. So Stephen, I got one too. <laughs> um, and so, uh, hey, Stephen, how you doing? Um, and so this is, his plant's way bigger than mine. Um, they, they, they look nice. Mine has spots, his don't. Uh, but it depends on, you know, which Eclandii uh, they crossed onto as far as what characteristics and what traits it has associated with it. So first bloom, single flower. These things, I think, are going to be continuously um, they're going to be blooming over time for me this is still a small plant and and i like this the other thing um, that i like about this I, w I wish the flower would be a little bit bigger but it's the first bloom on this plant so it's it's okay and i think over time i'll get bigger flowers on this plant the other thing that i like about it since i'm into fragrances is i'm getting fragrance off of this already it is um it, it's kind of a it's a classic Cattleya fragrance, a little powdery, but not as um, 
not as sweet as you would normally expect. It, it has a real nice fragrance associated with, with it, which is kind of what you would expect for the primary hybrid with this um, background. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to have this first bloom on this plant, yay. And you know, um, it wasn't me. I got this flower when it was in bud. I got this plant when it was in bud, so I just grew it out. I did repot it, which you're not supposed to do, but it was growing over the edge of the pot so much and there were new roots growing out, so I had, I really did have to repot it. Um, but the plant seems to be doing real well, and I'm really happy uh, to have this. Okay, so let me put this guy back. Um, the other thing I want to show you is another, it's not a, not a primary hybrid, and it's not a bloom yet, um, but I have this plant right here that I wanted to share with you. So I'm excited that this plant is finally, finally blooming for me. I hope, I think, no, it will. So this is a, um, this is a Cattleya um, Walker Inter, which is a um, Walkeriana times Cattleya Intermedia. So that was the primary hybrid. And then this is, an, this is also, this was then, um, what was crossed onto it is a, a Bauringii. So this is, this is, consists of just, um, this is a mix of three different Cattleya species. This has um, one, it has five buds coming out on it. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this is, the, this, this hybrid was named in 2020. I bought this plant in 2021. So it, it's interesting. So this um, Mangalen and this is um, Cattleya Oh, I get, I'll put the name on the screen. I think this is Lily, Lily Genovese, I think. I'll put the name on the screen. These were both registered in 2020, 2021. So these are fairly recently registered orchids to the point where the tags just have the crosses that, that, that went into these plants. So this is, and, and there's no images of this that I could see on orchid roots so um, as soon as these things open I'll have the first images that, that not ever but I'll have the first images that I'll put on orchid roots so other people can see what the what the flowers should look like so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this and again this took I've had this plant right here this this was nice because this I bought with a bud on it this one I bought I didn't buy, I got it. It was a, um, I think it might have been a bingo a prize at my, at my local orchid society um, meeting. And so I've had this plant, I just looked at my calendar. I've had this plant for this month, I've had this plant for three years. Normally it takes that amount of time to get my seedlings to bloom. This one I've had, and it's grown so slowly for three years, I'm going to have blooms coming out on it soon, and I'm very excited about that. Okay, so, um, you know, Lily Genovese, um, flowers are going to be small, which is a little disappointing, but, you know, prior to this point, I haven't really known what it's going to look like, and it's, a, it's three different hybrids that went into producing, three different, I'm sorry, species that went into producing this plant. Okay, let's move on a little bit. Um, this one right here, I've showed you this um, previously, and this is just starting to bloom. So this is Amazing Thailand Rainbow. And I've shared this with you before, you know, beautiful flared multicolor um, petals and sepals on this plant. This is, this is wonderful. I didn't realize that this was so close to blooming um, because I had this flower. This is hanging pretty high up in my pergola and I've had this flower, this plant up there. The plant itself is growing pretty big. It grows upright, which is, uh, which is nice. I've got a few other sheaths on this. There's buds in one of the, there's flowers in one, one just one of the other ones that I can see. Um, and this, so this will be blooming hopefully um, next week when I can bring this into my, my members meeting. But it's only, gonna have, it's only gonna have a single flower on it. So we'll see how it looks. Really fragrant, lovely plant. Um, and I'm showing it to you because I just harvested my first seed capsule 
off of this plant last week, brought it into the laboratory, and the embryos look good, and I'm gonna get my first progeny off of Amazing Thailand that I'm really excited about. But what that also means is that this thing blooms periodically throughout the year. So you don't get this, again, this burst of blooms that's really impressive. This plant blooms periodically throughout the year as it puts out new pseudobulbs. But still, it's a nice plant. I'm happy with it. Um, incredibly vigorous. And because it's vigorous, because I love the flower, um, I mean, look how, look how nice, look how nice this plant. This is just a nice looking plant um, all the way around. And because this plant is so nice, I like, um, I like using it, I like the idea of using it to generate hybrids. So I had a, a seed capsule off of this, and um, I'm harvest I've harvested the plinia, um, and I'm using it for other crosses, but I don't think I've been successful in generating any of those other crosses. All right, a couple more plants that I want to show with you. Dendrobiums, and I want to share this with you. I'm, I positioned here because it may be off the bottom of the screen. So this is Dendrobium wulang, which I've shared with you many times before. It's one of my favorites. And this is a huge, um, a huge cane that's coming off the base of the plant. The, uh, the, the cane itself is way, way, way thicker than my thumb, not as big as my, as my wrist. But this is a huge cane, and it's got these two big flower spikes coming off of it, and it's got the first flowers coming off on this. So I'm happy. This one, this is a keiki from my big plant that I just stuck onto this tree. It's already bloomed previously on a smaller cane. But this is a huge cane, and it's got, again, two spikes coming out on it on it. It's just wrapped, it's just grabbed onto the, the tree with a fairly extensive root system. But the flowers on this I love. Not fragrant yet, but this one will have fragrance and I just like this plant. And I'm showing you this dendrobium because I am likely to cross um, this dendrobium onto that. So I'm excited to have this. So this is uh, a, 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 a dendrobium a purple Mini Purple Queen, or I think that's the name of this. I always forget the name of it, um, but this is Mini, yeah, Mini Purple Queen is the name of this, uh, this dendrobium. And this thing is just incredibly uh, prolific. So right now it has one, two, three, four, five, um, I thought there was a six, yeah, six flower spikes on this little tiny plant. This is mounted on this piece of wood. This normally isn't in my backyard. This normally is, is kind of hanging from uh, the date palm tree in my front yard. But this is a great plant. This is incredibly prolific. This makes cakeys, and I've, got, I've, um, I've given some cakeys away of this already. Um, I've got another cakey that's, that's growing in a pot that I'm about to, to give away as well. But this is a great plant. So I'm gonna, I'm, you know, potentially, you know, gonna cross these two guys to see what I get. So Mini Purple Queen uh, crossed with uh, Wu Lang. And we'll just see how it goes. And, and the interesting thing is this is a small, uh, vigorous, um, very floriferous plant. And this is a huge, <laughs> this is a huge, vigorous, proliferous plant. So I'm, I'm curious to see what I would get out of a cross between these two. And um, again, these guys, this one's blooming this one blooms a lot, and this one, as you know, blooms a lot. So putting two vigorous plants together, I think, I think, I think I'm going to be really happy with the outcome of that. Okay, so that's all I have today. I just wanted to share with you um, some flowers that, that are open in my collection, some flowers that are coming. I do have others. I've got first blooms on one of my uh, dendrobiums from seed. Uh, that pro I think are going to be open by next week. I've got some repeat bloomers on some of my seedlings. I've got, um, I got, there's a, there's a lot of stuff um, that's going on. Um, it's warm. Orchids are growing like crazy. Um, they're just, they're just loving it this time of year. And we just had a ton of rain last week. So surge of growth here. So it's, it's all so very exciting. All right. That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right. That's all I have today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and 
happy propagating.